Hello, you guys, people of God, saints. It is Sunday, what is it, September 18th, I think, today. And just wanted to check in with you guys. How are you doing? Well, the fall holy days are coming up. The Feast of Trumpets is not this Monday, but next Monday, after this Monday. And that's always an important time in the world and even among the rulers of this world to do things. Usually a lot of big financial events and other events occur in September, October. So we've got Feast of Trumpets coming up and then Day of Atonement and then the Feast of, Feast of Tabernacles. And I know you guys can feel it just like I can feel it. All the cataclysmic events that have been taking place. Um all the organizations and kings and rulers in their positions of power, the plan for the Great Reset, what's happening with our weather, it's all set up and ready to go for the next event. I feel it in the air. We see all the signs. People are having visions. In fact, my mother had a vision that I want to share. She shared it with me yesterday on the Sabbath. She said she was looking at the skies and are looking at the clouds a few days ago and she seemed to see a person appear in the clouds and then they seemed to be fully dressed and then another person appeared beside them fully dressed and then she saw these dark blobs coming up like out of a tunnel and um, as soon as she saw them in an instant like in the twinkling of an eye they were transformed into a person that was standing up in the lineup along with the other people fully dressed and she said a light was shining on them from higher up and when she looked up it was a person with with like a golden light from their face and their hands were outstretched so I, you know i can't tell it like she can tell it she's the one that had the vision but i think i'm going to try to record it it sounds like a feast of trumpet like vision but guys i'm not saying that i believe that this is the time that Jesus returns and all the saints and all the dead are raised and translated. I believe that happens at the end of the tribulation. Um, and when he comes back, he destroys the Antichrist with the breath of his mouth. And I don't know if all things have become fully apparent yet. Um, but they're about to come into place. I do believe, though, he says he keeps those who persevere from the hour of testing coming up on the whole earth. And what else? You know, the, the, the woman yeah, in the book of Revelation, which I think represents the church, was given wings of, an, wings of an eagle to flee into the wilderness during the great tribulation period to a place of safety. And then also in what is the book of Matthew, we, Matthew, we have one is taken, the other left. So I do believe in a, you know, a place of safety. And I don't know all else that goes along with that, you know, training period or whatever, but this could be that time. This is that time to really get ready and have that oil in your lamps and fast and everything uh, this next week and just really be on the lookout, really stay close to the Lord. I'm speaking to myself here, you guys, but just really have that oil in your lamps and be filled with the Holy Spirit and watching, you know, and praying as we come up on this fall Holy Day season. All right, you guys, please have a blessed day and enjoy your week. I'm sending love over here from Los Angeles at the park. Bye-bye.